Another week, another bunch of polls. My name is Mystic Slash Konixia, and this is the five anime of the week. If you're new to the game, it's very simple. We got a website that's called myanimalist.net. They're not sponsored. No, they're probably never gonna be. Uh, I should probably stop mentioning. You guys know by now. Anyway, um, we pick five anime random. Talk more in depth about it. It's a very fun randomizer game. I like to play it. You guys like to watch it sometimes when I'm good at it. And um, this is my desktop for the week. I I, I thought it was cute. You don't have to agree, I, I, I just I just find her adorable with that tiny lollipop. A lolly holding a lollipop, ain't that some kind of meta bullshit. <laughs> anyway, let's go with the very first pick, which is gonna be fantastic to start off the week. Uh, it's a music video, we have a rule, we don't cover music stuff, so next one is gonna be... Start off like a musical. Ikitosin! Alright! Ikitosen is an interesting pick. It's kind of a fan service martial art type of anime. I saw. Let, let's go all the way back, all the way back to the beginning, to the very first one, and I'm gonna tell you when exactly it came out. It came out in 2003. That's when I saw it. That's probably why my memory is so flimsy about the show. Um. It's almost been 15 years. Oh, that makes me old. Um, yeah, it's an alright show if you're into fan service and also um, girls battling it out. Clothes rip apart by being punched, and that's a common problem. Anyway, let's play the clip and I'll tell you more about it. <laughs> Entry number one, Hikitosen. In the Kanto region, there's a pretty big domain war between seven different schools. Each schools have designated fighter who owns Magatama, a sacred bead. These have been passed down from generation to generation, and one of those gemstones end up in Hakufu's hand. She's an idiot, but she definitely can fight. Everyone is trying to get her for she is a mighty opponent that the legend says exists. That's pretty much the story. What it boils down to, however, is chicks fighting each other, clothes ripping apart, and thick thighs. Fan service is whatever, it's that kind of show. Eventually you just get numb to it. At least the plot actually holds itself together. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Not groundbreaking, but good brain off entertainment. <laughs> So that was her first pick, it's, it's whatever. Um, I, didn't, I didn't expect this week to be as good as last week or, or the week previous to that because those were two fairly solid picks we had in them. Uh, just give me two good ones, two good ones and, and we're gonna call it quits. And um, Devil's Circuit, it's a movie, uh, it's kind of short. It's from the 80s, it's not, it's, it's not fitting my criteria. Um, whenever it's under 10 minutes, especially if it's a movie or music video, I like to play my rule of no, no dice and re-roll! Re-roll into something that's... Oh, you... Oh, I fucking hated this movie. Well, oh, this series. It's ugly yet beautiful world. Um, little girls get naked in scenarios that doesn't even make sense. Look, it had... Yeah, it had Echi, it's magic fan. I don't I don't fucking know what the story was about. I saw it. I saw the 12 episodes. And I fucking don't know what it was all about. So uh let's, let's play the clip and I'll try to make head or tell of what's going on. Ah play play the clip. Sore! Watashimo <laughs> Entry number two, this ugly yet beautiful world. Oh, what an absolute garbage of an anime we have here. This show is littered with boobage. You'd think it's a good thing, but now it drowns it in nonsense. The story, if you can say there's one, is about Takaru, a courier on motorbike who find an alien life form girl in the forest and then there, there's monster who attack them. And uh, look, I don't know. It's like they took all the bad parts from Elfin Lead, Heaven's Lost Property, and Chobits, and they all mixed it together to make this atrocity. 
And it had a good concept, but a terrible execution. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 4 out of 10. One point per titties in this anime. <laughs> this, this, that is all. Yeah, I just... Uh, let's move on to the next one. So look, it's, it's whatever. We got two awful draws so far. Um, according to my... My pick. My opinion. Uh, I, I want to see... It. The gods are kind. They had to give me trash so I can actually get to greatness. Uh, Jojo's on Adventure. Have you seen it? Why not? It is. It is really something that people need to experience. Uh, the pinnacle of manliness. Also, uh, gets kind of crazy at some point. I highly recommend this one. Just play the clip. We'll take it from here. All right, let's play. Entry number three, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Holy shit, is that a motherfucking Jojo reference? Before going in, I think it's important to know that every new season of this anime follows a different Jojo. I didn't know that going in. <laughs> this anime is a shonen action comedy with the supernatural lore about the father of Jonathan Joestar, a nobleman who adopts Dio to repay a debt he owed to Dio's father. So Jonathan grows up with Dio as a rival and they both constantly clash. One day, Dio finds a mask that gives him special powers and Jojo tries to stop him. Like I said earlier, the story oozes of manliness, from gentlemen fighting each other to bulging muscles. You got it all, cleft chin, silly pose it, it makes the anime top tier and I absolutely must recommend it to everyone. 10 out of 10, it's also on Crunchyroll, so feel free to check it out there. You can get yourself a 14 day free trial if you use the link crunchyroll.com slash misty. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, so thankfully we got we got Jojo. Now we can bring back the momentum and uh, keep going. We got we got something we can salvage out of this. I promise it's gonna go somewhere. I just sometimes you just gotta believe in the heart of the draws and it. Mariaholic. Mariaholic is a, um, a story about... Was it a, a girl that's uh, forced to be sent on a girl-only school? Just, uh, let me just go back to the actual story. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a girl is sent to a, an all-girl school and... Just enjoy it. Enjoy it for yourself. Play the clip. Entry number four, Maria Holic. Well, if you saw the thumbnail, I'm guessing you can add two plus two together. The story revolves around Kaneko, a girl who has a fantasy of finding true love in school like her parents did. Aww. Unfortunately, when she's near man, she breaks into hives, so she came to an all-girl school to find uh, the same gender girl love. Or so that was the plan originally. After meeting with the wonderful Maria, Kaneko walks in on her while she's changing and it's a dude cross-dressing. Yep, yep, yep. Japan's at it again. But hey, the comedy is funny. The premise is, if anything at all, curious. <laughs> and the characters are endearing. Watch it if you want something light. How am I supposed to rate this show? Uh, it, it's a trap out of 10. <laughs> yep, yeah, I mean, that was gonna be obvious. I, <laughs> I have no words for this week. Um, let's bring it home with the final one. And look, if you have anything to... Data Live. Uh, this is based on Data Live 2, which is a sequel to Data Live 1. Which is it's it's whatever. Uh, Dead Alive is a harem mecha story. Was it mecha? I don't. Kind of like it's it's yeah a little bit mecha where uh, it's more like Battle Girls. Let's play the clip and we're gonna hand on that note because 
I kind of gave up after Jojo. We had the good ones. The rest is whatever. Let's, let's wrap it up with Day Alive, heading in force. <laughs> And finally, entry number 5, Data Live. So the story on this one is a bit convoluted. I'll try to sum up the essence the best I can in a few sentences. Future has a giant explosion called Spacequake that brings in spirits, girls from another dimension. Main character's sister is in charge of getting rid of those spirits by brute force. Main character doesn't like that and realize you can make them disappear if they fall in love with someone. So he ends up dating the, the spirits. In a nutshell, that's pretty much it. The show becomes a harem rom-com with mecha flavors and sci-fi, obviously. As far as harem goes, the comedy is quite savory. Can't really say it goes far beyond, but the execution is nice. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Could be more, but harem is such a buzzkill for me. So look, at the end of this video, there's some good picks, there's some lesser good ones. You might still enjoy them if you're into obscure anime, because we, we drew some some pretty shadowy stuff. So uh, there's definitely something to be at least experienced. I'm gonna put it on that light. That's my silver lining. I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for spending uh, today with me. Well, this, this tiny gap of 15 minutes with me. And uh, if you'd like to do it again, hopefully next week we're going to get a bunch of new draws. And uh, just a quick reminder, I am still going to the convention in uh, Chicago called Con Alt Delete. Um, you might want to look it up if you're in the area. I'm going to be there with Akidiris, Joy the Anime Man, and Gaijin Gumba. I'm going to do some signings and as well do uh, some panels. So if you want to swing by, we're going to be there. Until then, I'll see your etchy faces next time. Have a safe day. Turns have been on the wrong side, I've been ashamed So many memories, you know I'd like to change yeah.